And I wrote it with Shane McAnally and Jesse Frazier. Um, and it's about the experience of loving someone who might be struggling with addiction. It's National Recovery Month. And um, I, I know a lot of people, including myself, that um, love people who have struggled. And this is really a song about um, going into a dark place about ever, if you should ever get that call that you never want to get. And um, the reason I wrote it is because sometimes this is how we work out our own anxiety about something is just to make it into something that is a song, a piece of art, something. So it's called What I Would Say. And I have to say, um, that has been one of the un unforeseen benefits of quarantine. And I was just writing a ton with so many people over Zoom, over FaceTime, over the phone, and even recorded and produced some stuff that you could do remotely, which was pretty amazing. But I, I think it has been very creative and in a way like a survival mechanism <laughs> to just sort of, know, okay, I can still do the thing that I love to do. It's just doing it in a different way. Uh, the slowing down and just understanding what the essential needs are uh, because we all can be sort of busy and it really distilled down to what we love and that's our families and our good friends and um, I, I, I you don't ever really need a reminder for that but it became very, very present and enveloping instead of just a concept that was out there, so, you know. Yes, I love my family and my friends, but this was really um, a way to connect in a deeper way. <laughs> 